Okay, so I thought that this was worth the vlog for today. The entire vlog for today is just going to be about this topic. Um, this is the founder of Jimmy John's, who just killed the last female black rhino. Um, it lived in Mangetti National Park. Uh, it, the story says... Have you ever eaten at one of Jimmy John's 2,000 plus gourmet sandwich restaurants? Founder Jimmy John, whatever his last name is, is a known trophy hunter and was the one who killed the last living female black rhino in the Mangetti National Park in Nam Namibia? Uh... Thormalin and Cotran, whatever the name is, brought bought the right to hunt one black rhino bull from the Mis Ministry of Environment and Tourism for close to $1.3 million. Jimmy John, who had paid $3 million to hunt the endangered animal, instead shot a female black rhino who charged him at the national park. The cow was the only female black rhino in the park. He wanted his money back because he wanted the bull. He didn't get it. He also proudly killed leopards, zebras, buffalo, and elephants through other hunting outfits. As recently as 1970, an estimated of 65,000 black rhinos could be found throughout sub-Saharan Africa. But in Eastern Africa, 90% of them were killed in the 1970s. Now there are fewer than 2,500 left in existence in pockets of Z Zimbabwe, South Africa, Kenya, Namibia, and Tanzania. Um... So, if you go to Jimmy John's Facebook page, you know how you do that, like when, when like a company does something that everybody hates, you go to that site and you share it so that everybody knows, um, and then that company will issue a statement or whatever, and re or will reply specifically to you or whatever. Instead... What happened was I shared it on the Jimmy John's Facebook page right here. Uh, and literally 10 seconds, only 10 seconds after I posted on their Facebook page, my comment was deleted and I was blocked from their Facebook. So any other company like Starbucks for example there's there's a there was a huge lie that a lot of people believed in where Starbucks didn't support the troops and they refused to send uh, free coffee to whatever and all that stuff no discounts none of that but it wound up not being true Starbucks always gave them free coffee and always sent it to Iraq when they were over in Iraq and Afghanistan and all of that um, but whenever somebody would still post that lie, uh, Starbucks would always, one of the admins of Starbucks, would always reply to that comment, tell them that it's not true, and then show a link to it. Um, if it is true, the company usually issues a statement that they're sorry uh, that this happened, and whatever PR crap. But this company is blocking is deleting the comments and blocking every single person that talks about it at all. They've blocked so many people so far, including their own customers. So, if that is an admission of guilt, I don't know what is. <laughs> but, of course, it's not... I mean... It's obviously true, because he, liter he literally took a picture of him killing it. Uh, and then posted it somewhere. I don't know where he posted it, but that's him killing it. So, uh, yeah, I thought that, that that deserved a vlog of its own because that's, that's a little shady for the company to do something like that. To, it, I understand deleting comments if, if they, if they don't like that, but they're blocking people 
for trying to get the word out. That's a little messed up. Oh yeah, one more thing that I didn't even think about. He paid three million dollars to do it, or one point three million. I don't know. There's two different numbers. I can't. I don't know which one was his, but he. I think it was the three million. He paid three million dollars to kill a black rhino. Wound up killing a female instead of the male that he wanted to kill, but that still he wanted to kill a black rhino. Where do you think that money came from? Profits from his Jeremy John's restaurants. So that means anybody that goes to Jeremy John's restaurant, they helped pay to kill that black rhino. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you think in the comments below. And uh, new video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.